And now, welcome to Peace Word, the game where it's not about winning, it's all about keeping the peace. Here's your host, Heidi. Hello. Hello. I am your host for today's game show. This is my game show, Peace Word, where it's not all about winning, it's all about keeping the peace. Here's our first and only contestant, Tucker. Oh boy, am I excited. Excited to win, that is. Uh, of course, but as we know, here on Peace Word, it's not all about winning. It's all... Yeah, sure, whatever, who cares? Let's win. What do I need to do? Okay. All right, well, here's our first scenario. Okay. All right, you're on the playground. You're having a great time with the new jump rope that you got for your birthday. Your friend comes over and asks you to play with it for a while, and it's your jump rope, and technically, you don't have to share it. What do you do? Well, since it is my jump rope, I think I'll just play with it the whole time. Keep in mind, this might make your friend a bit upset, maybe even angry. Yeah, but it's my jump rope, right? I keep it and tell my friend to get lost, and I'm in the right. There you go. You won the argument. Yeah! But you lost the piece. Oh. Is that important? Well... You hurt your friend's feelings, and you end up jumping rope all by yourself, which is kind of lonely. Uh, uh, okay, oh well. Next scenario. You got it, next scenario. It's movie night on Friday. You are excited because it's your turn to pick the movie. Suddenly, your brother says it's his turn. But you remember how last week and this week, he picked last week, and this week it's your turn to decide. So, you can force your way, throw a huge fit, or, Say that you didn't even want to watch a movie anymore. Or you could work together and pick a movie that you both want to watch. Maybe one of his again. Mm, this one's a little bit harder. I mean, it is my turn to watch my movie night. Sure. So if I argued, I could probably win it. Maybe. I'm all about winning. Let's win the argument! Okay. So you make a big deal about how it's your turn. Your parents get frustrated with you, but tell your brother that you get to pick. You win, of course, and end up watching your movie alone. You lost the piece. Oh, well, I won. I won both so far. Let's keep going. This is pretty good. All right. So, final scenario. You loan your best friend your favorite toy. He loves it, but he accidentally breaks it. He feels so bad, he apologizes. Do you forgive him? or tell him that you don't want to be his friend anymore. He broke my favorite toy, my favorite toy in the world? I can't believe it. I know I'll win this argument clearly because he is the one who's broke it and he's the one in the wrong. Okay, you win the argument, but your friendship falls apart because you made him feel so terrible. He decided that he doesn't want to spend time with someone who can't forgive others. Well, that's too bad because I liked him, but still, yeah, I win! And that's the end of our game show. Let's see if our contestant Tucker won. <laughs> Obviously, I won. I won all three of the arguments. Well, that's true. You won the arguments. But let's see if you won the game. Wait, what? Peace is, is proving you care more about each other than winning an argument. You may have won all of the arguments, but none of your friends knew that you cared about them. In the end, that makes you lose. Not win. Wait, what What kind of, what? Even if you win an argument, you may lose in the end. For example, you may lose respect, lose friends, or lose trust. Tucker, you have to ask yourself, what's more important, your relationships or being right? You know, I have noticed that when, when I win a board game and then I scream, in your face, at my grandma, it does tend to sour the mood at her, at her house. I guess it's, Kind of the same thing. That's right, Tucker. Kindness, humility, and peace all have a lot in common. Well, you didn't win our game today, but it seems like you learned a lot about peace. That's all the time we have. See you next time on Peace Word.